In today's video, I will share with you the best supply and demand zone strategy for entering high probability trades you haven't seen before. This strategy is so powerful that it can literally be applied for any market including crypto, stocks and forex. I will also backtest it 100 times with an initial account size set at $1000 with 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio just to prove how effective the strategy can be in different market conditions. For all the people asking me what backtesting service I'm using, it's called TraderEdge and it's officially the best backtester on the internet. Thousands of new and professional traders using TraderEdge to get an edge on air competition. TraderEdge is three times faster than a traditional backtesting method. All you need to do is to set up your initial account size and the profit and loss per trade. TraderEdge will give you all the information you need about the strategy such as the win ratio, the profit and loss, the maximum drawdown, the profit factor and more. You will also find some other useful features on their website such as the position size calculator which can be really handy for those who trade forex and commodities, the profit and loss calendar where you can track your trading performance and make some important notes and the indicators and strategies menu. Here you can find and download some super accurate tools for MT4 and TradingView platforms and they've all been proven to work. If you're not entirely sure how to backtest no worries you will get a full step-by-step -step backtesting plan which has $100 value. If you're not sure how to build a profitable trading strategy no problem you will also get a full course on how to build a profitable mechanical trading strategy which has $270 value. And if you sign up right now they'll throw in four pre-made high quality strategies that have $100 value. So that's around $500 worth of bonuses all for free but only if you sign up right now. TraderEdge has a 7 day free trial so there is literally no risk at all. So go ahead and check it out, I will leave a link in the description below. Ok for my backtesting I'm going to be using the price of Apple on a 5 minute time frame. If you prefer trading on a higher time frames you can use this strategy on a 15 minute, 1 hour or even a daily chart. Ok before we get into this strategy we need to first understand how the law of supply and demand affects the market. The law of supply and demand is a theory that seeks to explain the relationship between the availability and desire for a product such as a security and its price. Typically, low availability and high demand boost the price of an item and high availability and low demand reduces its price. And by knowing the law of supply and demand, we can predict with a high accuracy where the price action is going to go in the future. So to put the theory into the practice, we need to understand how to properly identify the supply and demand zones. Now you might be asking, what exactly are the supply and demand zones? You see, supply and demand zones are a popular analysis technique used in day trading. The zones are the periods of sideways price action that come before explosive price moves and are typically marked out using a rectangle tool in a stocks, forex or CFDs trading platform. As we can see, when the price action reaches the supply zone, it always gets rejected. Exactly opposite works when the price action is reaching the demand zone. In this video, we're not going to be focusing too much on a theory, otherwise the video will be way too long. So let's jump into the trading rules so that we know exactly when to enter the trade, where to place our stop losses and our take profit targets. Ok, so here are the rules for entering a long trade. First, we need to have a strong bullish momentum formed in a market. This momentum is usually happening after a bearish trend. Second, we need to identify the demand zone. For that, we need to find a bullish candlestick that marks the origin of a strong uptrend. In this example, the candlestick that marks the origin is going to be this one right here. Notice, once this candlestick was formed, the price action started moving in an upward direction. Next step will be to draw a rectangle from the top to the bottom of this candlestick. Ok, we just identified our demand zone. Next step will be to wait for the price action to pull back into this zone. And once we have this pullback, a bullish candlestick has to be formed and it needs to be closed above the demand zone and the body of the most recent bearish candlestick. Ok, this is going to be our trigger candlestick. We're going to place a buy order at the close of our trigger candlestick. Our stop loss will be set slightly below the demand zone. And we're going to be targeting 1.5 times the risk. Ok, here is another example. So here we see the price action was moving in a downtrend, then it gapped and a strong bullish candlestick was formed in the market. And once the candlestick was formed, the market participants pushed the price action higher. So this is a strong indication that the price action reached the demand zone and it got rejected. So the candlestick that marks the origin of a strong uptrend is going to be this one right here. The demand zone has been identified, the pullback has also occurred, and now we're simply waiting for a bullish candlestick that should close above the demand zone and the body of the previous bearish candlestick. Ok, we just got our trigger candlestick. And now we're going to set a stop loss and a take profit target.
Notice how many more times the price action pulled back into this demand zone and got rejected. A new demand zone can also be spotted in the uptrend after a consolidation stage, just like in this example right here. We see the price action was ranging and then a strong bullish move appeared in the market. And this strong bullish candlestick is the origin of the new demand zone. The market participants kept moving the price action higher and then a pullback occurred. A bullish candlestick was closed above the demand zone and the body of the previous bearish candlestick. So we're just going to follow the rules and execute a long trade. By the way, if the price action closes below the demand zone, you do not take any long positions. You simply wait for a new signal. Okay, now let's understand the short positions. First, the market has to form a strong bearish candlestick that would push the price to the downtrend. This candlestick marks the origin of the downtrend. And this is going to be the candlestick we're going to be using to draw the supply zone. Okay, the supply zone has been successfully identified. Now we need to have a pullback into this zone. Now we need to have a bearish candlestick that would close below this zone and the body of the most recent bullish candlestick. Okay, we can see that such candlestick has been formed. So we're going to go ahead and place a sell order at the close of this candlestick. Our stop loss will be set slightly above the supply zone. And we're going to be targeting one and a half times the risk. Okay, let me give you one more example. So here we see a strong bearish candlestick has been formed that pushed the price action to the downtrend. The supply zone has been identified. We also had a pullback and a bearish candlestick that closed below the supply zone and the body of the most recent bullish candlestick. We see traders, this strategy works just like magic. Now let's do our backtesting to find out its true win rate. Okay, so after 100 trades, the results are incredible. The win rate is 71% and we gained over 350% of profit on our account. The profit factor is 3.67 and we had 14 consecutive wins against 3 consecutive losses. Also notice the maximum drawdown for the strategy does not exceed 10%, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, traders, definitely give this strategy a try with the paper money and see if it works for you. But if you prefer trading with indicators, check out this video right here. This is literally one of my best indicator strategies on the channel. 